Hello, Kenny Beach, part three. Sorry, I got interrupted. So, I said that this could be um, receipt, proof, proof could be that video that he was allegedly in, I guess a good portion of his family said that this was him in this video. There were a couple of questionable things, um, but this could also be proof that he is in Hawaii. Um, this was my Gannon card, Gannon Stout, when he was missing and he was found under a bridge two to three states away from his original state. So I think they went Colorado, down Texas, uh, excuse me, hit another state and then Florida. So again, uh, Kenny Beachy's in Las Vegas. So if we went west. I think you would hit to maybe one other place before you got to Hawaii. Um, oh, and he got the, so he got the chariot in, where is it? Now he got the chariot under the assumption to me that he went to the cave. That would be this chariot. But if I was wondering if he went somewhere else and is still alive and hasn't disappeared, it'd be this chariot. So that was the new chariot. Add two more horses, but now he's stuck somewhere. Being closed off, stubbornness, overestimating oneself, rushing along into an accident. Um, this could be, if he was in Hawaii, who is there with the Queen of Swords. Strength might be a Gemini mixed with a Leo. This could be him pulling a disappearing act. Uh, the Magus, the magician, a Gemini. Um, two queens, could a friend could have helped. I actually think there were three queens. Two queens. this lady okay so again I think there's that either the video that came out is proof that he's still alive these two cards came out and they're different decks speaking of Hawaii the chariot in reverse the chariot came out when I asked about him going to the cave and disappearing, but then it also came out in this spread in reverse. So let me get one more card. Maybe two. Kenny Veach. You. Where are you today? Fish guidance.
koi fish. I'll tell you what it is if I can't find the book. Hold on. All right. Um, the fish guidance. Where are you today? The fish symbolizes intelligence or intuition. Whatever the situation is, if this card is drawn, it advises to use intuition. When this card is drawn, it would be beneficial to seek professional guidance from a third party, doctor, counselor, etc. So now we're going back to the hospital. Maybe he is in the hospital. Maybe a hospital either for physical ailments or mental ailments. I mean, can't rule that out. Maybe he is in the cave hospital, if there's such a thing. Um, let's see. The next time we hear about Kenny Beach, what shall it be about? That's kind of cool. A healing heart, but look at that cave. Uh, or the waterfall covering the cave, possibly. On, please. Okay, sorry, heart healing. Um, bleeding heart, the flower, heals broken, heals broken hearts and wounds caused through relationship issues. An emerald, the gem that goes with this card, has a flower and a gem, are tiny brilliant crystals of emotional healing. A broken heart is one of the hardest wounds to heal because we often go about it wrong, acting stoically, lashing out in anger, or indulging in non-productive self-pity, and consequently distract ourselves from actually feeling the emotions. Feel your honest emotions, honor them, and release them, making way for true healing. So maybe he was going through a heartbreak. Or maybe he just left a lot of people with hurting hearts with what he did, whether that's getting into the cave and disappearing or fake disappearing. Uh, the quote is, my heart hurts, I feel the pain and name the source of it. I allow myself to experience it, even though it is hard. I honor the experience of my heart. I release the pain. All right. Um, time will tell. Thanks.